Hello, everybody. Welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dungeon Drafters, a roguelite dungeon crawler, I believe with deck builder elements. At the very least, you would think with a name like that and cards being up there. We'll, we'll have to see. But in we shall go. We're going to be checking out a, uh, a Kickstarter demo for the game that has uh, been released a little while ago. The Kickstarter is fully funded, so the game is in development now. Uh, but what do we got here? We got... Okay. WASD move, E confirm, Q cancel, J pass turn, weird. Oh, okay, otherwise it's also on mouse. Gotcha, gotcha. So, I'm trying to figure out what here is really something we wouldn't understand. Our action points are down there, the AP, we've got... Yeah, I... This looks relatively standard with uh, the weird things being J to pass our turn, enter to pause, and shift to fast forward. Gotcha. But we shall check it out. And again, of course, demo, very subject to change. Okay, so yeah, we're already, we're grid based here. We got, let's see. Quake cause two damage to all units in the area of effect. Okay. We've got Thunder Smite cast a two damage bolt of lightning at a target. On kill, teleport to the target and re-engage. Okay, wow, we've already got like more complex moves than I would have anticipated. I, I enjoy that. Usually when you get put into a roguelike deck builder, it's like, do two damage. And that's it. But like, we got more already. Move unerringly in a direction, phasing through all obstacles except for walls. Units that are passed through take two damage. Wow. So is that like all the way? Okay, up to the wall. Cause two damage to all units in the area of effect. So it looks like we drew two quakes, for example. Fling, hurl a target in a direction, causing two damage to anything it collides with. Okay. I gotta say, the pixel art is very, like, very nice and vibrant. Like, I, I gotta say, like, Game Boy Advance taken further, which is a nice thing. Because Game Boy Advance, that generation of games visually hold up. The, the ones that did it, uh, did it very well. Okay, so, are we full turn-based? I think we are full turn-based here. Two damage to all units in the air of effect. Two damage... Two damage, bolt of lightning at the target on kill, teleport, re-engage. So, oh, you can see what he wants to do. He wants to dash down here. He wants to do basically shine spark, it looks like. And he's doing like a little bit of a jump. Do they not do it until we attack? Oh, okay. So we get, okay. AP, it's how many moves? Okay, including our movement points and our, uh, our potential spells here. Understood. I didn't even see you back there, mister. Okay, so you're zip-zapping through there. You look like you might be possibly taking damage. I mean, we're fine. The good news is... This is incredible. Wrecked. Double wrecked. Oh. How could I have forgotten? Slimes. They be doing the slime things. Wait, so you're... Okay, for a second I thought you were both trying to move into the same spot. It looks like we are going to be taking damage from you if we don't do something about it. What is re-engage? Let's find out. Even if it means we take damage. Ooh, it looks like we got an extra AP. Do we have another AoE? Wait. Wait. Let's go. Let's go. We might have taken damage by uh, landing on that lightning, but that was okay. All right. That was sick. That was, that was sick already there. Holy crap. So those cards are in there now. What's up with these? Anything of, uh, of import? I love the little, uh, hop, skip, jump we got. Okay. Next. Okay, I was gonna say, I, I certainly noticed we are running out of cards here. Fling, hurl, target in direction, causing two damage to it and anything it flies with. So, like, we could theoretically grab this. Oh, we flung it straight towards the wall. We couldn't. Maybe we could have picked which direction? Maybe. 
Summon a stalagmite at a location. A unit at the location takes one damage. Push one and stun one. I mean, sure. Cool. cool. We should have done that just to begin with. Have they changed their mind? Are they going to move towards us now? Nah. I'm not too worried about it. What is this? Select a card in your hand. Create a phantom copy of it. Ooh. Hmm. So, yeah, that does take... So, yeah, it just... It hurls them in a straight line. Gotcha. That's right, of course. Of course, the slimes. Um... Let's wait a hair. When do we draw again? Do we have to use all of our cards in order to draw? Are they lined up at least a little bit here? They're going to be lined up pretty well. Move to target position, phasing through units, and causing one damage. I wish we could set this up in a way where we could, like, get here, break this. Like, it would be move, break. I would assume that would take an action point, and then stepping on it. That's all of our... That's our whole turn right there. I don't know what initiative or re-engage means there. Is there any... Well, there's the fast forward. Just checking. Okay. Um... Uh... Boy. Causing one damage, initiative re-engage. I don't. I don't know, man. I wish we could break this, though. I think we might need to just set ourselves up. Otherwise, we could... Are they going to be in a line? They're not going to be in a line. I don't know. Let's just let's just say screw it. I'm not really uh, worried about taking damage at this moment. You can move over. You're going to move over to the left. You can move over as well. That's right. We can speed that up. Summon an orb that lures nearby enemies and causes one damage to adjacent units when it takes damage. Interesting. Well, I kind of want to... Shoot. Yeah, no, that's fine. Do we want to copy it first, though? Let's copy it. All right, we've created a phantom card. It costs AP, though. Maybe not the best idea. Wah! Wah! Okay, this is... This is sick already. This is very cool. This is very cool. You are super lured. I bet you we could, like... We could break it. Ourself, right? You are... You've been lured. And then I think you've been lured again. Yep. Dummy. Oh, God. I'm cool. Oh, my God. Look at... Whoa. That chain reaction. Wait a minute. Wait. Hold on. Combat seems like it might be able to get, like, quite deep. Hello, bomb boy. We have so many different types of spells right now. I feel like they just threw every spell in the, uh, the starting deck that you can get here. Heal 3 HP to a target and cause 1 damage to all adjacent. Transform a target prop into an allied common slime. That's fun. That's very fun. Ooh. Okay. Wow, okay. All right. There's so much cool, like, really cool stuff going on right now. Hmm. 
Hmm. Could zip here. Theoretically, we can... Yeah, we can do this then. Okay. I'm assuming you can't get me from there. Maybe you can, though. Stunned. Good. Okay, I can't. I can't hurl that. It's it's stationary on the ground. I bet, I'm sure I could hurl my friend. Uh. I like the vibe here. This might blow up and. Uh, yep. 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 And do a little excess damage too. Get him, boyo. Love that sound effect there. Shine spark. Maybe. Well, I feel like maybe we. Yeah, we could, we could just wait. They're gonna have a little bit of a tussle, you know. We get ready. I think we actually just get ready. We're drawing, like, what? One one spell a turn? They'll have a little punch fight here. Okay. Another hurl. Eh. Is this blocked, or is this perspective? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Come on. Fine. I thought that our range was going to be good enough there. But alas. We've, we have done beefed it. He's dead. But hey, he's going to split into two friendly slimes as well. And we have the very slight upper hand in that regard. Teleport to the... Okay. Teleport target to the select... Oh, wait. It, including myself? Okay, I could target myself and teleport myself over there, or... But I want to. I don't know if I want to. Like, I'm trying to think, what I, what would I hurl in any direction at this point? I guess I will, um... Target myself, bring myself a little bit closer, go for the, uh, I guess the harmful bless? And then we can't, uh, we can't do anything that will really help us here. Alright, let's just set ourselves up a little bit better. Good. For potentially pushing our pal into him. Bye-bye, you've been a great ally. <laughs> wow, okay, all right. Yeah, like, with the speed up, it really feels like playing, like... <laughs> like an emulated Game Boy Advance... Long-lost emulated Game Boy Advance game. Which... Is super cool. Okay. I can't, like, push anybody in a way that's going to be really good. Yeah, I really can't. Unless... I can't move Diagmo. But you know what I'm, you know what I'm saying there? Like... That could be kind of fun. Oh, that would be really fun. Maybe wait until they get closer. So then I could teleport here, push him up. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to try that out. It's a little spicy meatball.
Something to be said for... Well, if we would have teleported here, we could have gone wimp wimp, but I don't think that actually helps us that much. Like, that's pretty good. You can't attack me. I think we're actually fine to just stay here. I don't think we need to use our AP, all of our AP every turn. If we're not taking damage, you know, sometimes it seems like it's better to wait, which I, uh, it's, it's been proving to be a good idea more often than I, ooh, wish I could undo that, than I would have anticipated. Can't do that. I can do this, though. Are oh, you moving down? Are you still going to move down even though I do this? Okay. So I can just attack you, but you will do a big boom upon me. Wait a minute. This is kind of... Wait. Wait a minute. Look at this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. This, okay. The, the potential turn setups and strategy is so cool. I can't wait to see what the uh, like the, the deck drafting elements will eventually be, or maybe are, even are in the game now. Okay. We have... Uh, we have it. Moink. Oh my god, that is so cool. I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm smitten. I'm absolutely smitten with this game. Okay. Just like, I'm, I'm so curious to see what other kind of... Oh, that's right. We're in the middle of a fight. Hmm. So curious to see what other kind of um, spells we might get. Wait. Does this go away at the end of the turn since we didn't use it? I think we're going to play it a little bit slow here for a sec. I think that this this very, very slow idea here to set them up in a little bit more of a chain reaction way is going to be more helpful for us. Like, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. We could kill with the fireball. We could... Kill with fling. Let's do it. Boop. Come here. My mess, right? Like, we're about to be able to, uh... We're about to be able to just chain react. Oop. Oh. I did not mean to do that. It's okay. Doesn't actually matter. Oh my god. So nice. Smack. Smack. Oh, we could break that. That's actually good. Good intel. I'm sure that that could be utilized at some point. In combat. Is this just like infinitely generated rooms? Oh! Never mind. Hello. Okay, you're gonna spawn a summon. What if we knock this on your summon spot? Is that... Nope, you don't care. You don't care. Never mind. I don't really want to blow myself up on you. Let's 
What's the range on this? One, two. That actually is not great. I love this song. <laughs> I thought this was the one damage one. This is fine. Uh, you know what? Let's do a little bit of wombo action. We gotta make sure we end up. I don't want to take the damage. There. Ah, we're gonna take damage. So this is what damage looks like. I've been doing such a good job. What? Oh, you did an AOE heal. Like, it would have healed anybody, but... It's healing me. I mean, thank you. Wait, wait. No, that does four damage. We shouldn't do it. It will taunt, at the very least. We shouldn't waste it. Just we, we would do two damage, and then it would do its thing where it does the uh, the hit around it. But still. Whoop. You gonna hit it? Yep. Dummy. All right. Rest in hell. All right. I just wanted to see if I could. I just wanted to see if I could. That's the mark of a of a really good systems driven rogue. Like if you can smack if you can smack something like that to kill yourself if you wanted. Heal. What? Shuffle? What? All my cards are back in my deck now. So that was not like a boss or anything. That, that was just a that was just a guy. Fun to th I, I think we have a neat little setup here. If we just get ourselves into position here where we can maybe zip ourselves through. Oh, shoot. They're like really, they're like really there. Well, there's our, uh, our Quake is back. As well as I wanted. <laughs> teleport that, teleport in, push him, but that's not. We oh! Wait, we could do this push up here, earthquake. What's your plan? Your plan is to go up there. Okay. All right, all right. We're gonna try this out. We're gonna try this out. Zip that up there. Okay. Uh, it's weird. We would have to take the damage of it. I kind of want to just because it sounds goofy. I'm gonna do it. It sounds fun. I don't care. Are you going to change your mind? Nope. I, I didn't think so. All right. So, yeah, we're like, are we perpetually slowly running out of cards? It's a fable, the deck builder, where you want your deck to be very thick. Okay. do here. I don't want to waste anything. You move it up. You're summoning. Um, we can actually use that to our advantage.
We can use this to our advantage if we set this up right. Is this going to work? Ah, but the pit. The pit. Okay. Never mind. I thought that was going to be cooler than it actually was. Oh, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. No? Don't do that. What's the turn order on you? How did I... You go first. Okay, so that guy goes last. That helps. And then he moves where? He moves all the way over there. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I wish this hit. I could like slam in and then quake. That is a that is a courageous move. I you know oh, I can't do it. I can't. I can't actually. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. <gasps> Wait. Wait, we don't take the damage from the AoE? No way. No way. Okay, never mind. That's cracked. I thought for sure that was going to be a nope. Okay. Ba, 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 ba. Every time. I will never stop, even though I should. Another summon, I'm assuming? Nope. Teleport swap. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Can we just, like, melee you? Yeah. It's typically probably not a great idea, but here, why not? One, two, three. Goodbye! Man, like, I'm so curious to see the other elements. There's like a puzzle room over there to the left. What the heck? And then there's a staircase. Ba, 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 ba. Can we heal? Oh, we can heal that? Wow. And we can, we can teleport it and heal it, too. Wait a minute. This is kind of... Oh, wait. I meant to... I, oops. I meant to move up. I forgot I had... I'm going to take a little bit of damage. You know what? That doesn't matter that much, actually, now that I think about it, because I can just heal myself. But I was thinking of healing... This. You know what? Screw it. I don't need to be... Well... I mean, if you're going to set it up like this for me, then I guess I am going to take it. Like, why would I not, right? But... Sure. It's kind of fun, right? fun concept, but eh. Eh, we'll let it go. One of them might actually move towards me still because this thing is going to die. Oh, good. I'm so glad that that's the one that attacked first. Give me another lightning slam. What's this? Polymorph. Hey. Uh, Vsauce here. I don't know, man. Oh, man. Who really cares? This is pretty, pretty free. 
I don't know if I want to use my polymorph because I could just save it that way. Here's what I wanted to try. If I push you into him, does it... You just got skewered. You just... You just popped. You just straight up popped. Can I teleport this thing? No. I wouldn't really want to, but... Uh... <laughs> smart. Smart move. Smart move. I really want to try this out again. Like... How exactly is this interacting? Pretty well. Pretty dang well. So this is gonna... This is also not great, because, yeah, they get their moves... Oh, they don't... They can't attack me. Strange. Bye-bye. All right, let's see where the puzzle room is. Oh no. What? Do I need to hit all these before the combat's out or something? What's the what's the deal? Oh. Like, is this actually... Is this actually what we do? Wait. That's kind of cool. Don't you dare break that. So is it done now? Like, at the end, it'll be good? Yeah, okay. It's permanently... Permanently set. Hello. You're coming to attack me, eh? I'll just wait, then. Well, you're not actually going to. You lied. Wait a minute. You big liar. Eh, who really cares? We're good here. Dummy. Stop hitting yourself. Cool. Ooh. All right, I wonder... So what's in chess in this? Is it money? It's just money right now? I'm sure... Well, it looks like maybe there's cards or something, too. There's clearly, like, a lot of elements going on over here. Like, I would not be shocked if the Kickstarter demo, demo here only has the, um... Like, the combat elements and stuff. What was it, that bed one? I don't even remember. Oh, that was the, it restored our HP and the, yeah, okay. Eh, you know what? No! Oh! Is this the end of the demo? I, I had a sneaking suspicion. We're truly glad you dedicated your time to play this demo. We'd love to hear what you think. Keep in touch on social media. Very, very neat. I, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dabble around a little bit more here. Uh, yeah, so it's, it's straight up, it is just a, a de free downloadable demo that you can play right now, but I, I'm so intrigued by this, like, it's, I feel like this is a good, really good mark, if, if all the game has is only gameplay right now, like, only standard combat, and I, like, there's like three types of enemies, and I still want to interface with the game more, like, Desperately, I feel like that's an incredibly good mark. This game, the the base systems in place are very cool. Like when they get to the elements of drafting out your deck and everything like that, I I I'm gonna lose my mind. I think like this, I cannot wait for this. At this at this point, this is this is one of my new mo most anticipated roguelikes. I think right now. Uh, just out of, out of nowhere. I was not expecting that. 
It's just so polished. It's vibing, vibing with me very directly. I'm really, really impressed. Like, just the amount of... There's, like, not that many different cards that we even have right now, but they're all so clever. Where are you going? You're going there. You're gonna... Yeah. I don't know what your plan is if I move you here, but I'm assuming you're gonna try and go right here. Yeah. Which is ideal for fling. I assume you still want to move there, right? Oh, that changed that 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 changed things. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. The slime boy. All right. Um. What happens if we fling this? Does it do the damage before or after? You know what? I'm a, I'm a dummy who's got to know. Just, just because I'm curious. Oh my god, that's so smart! Oh, I'm, I'm dying here. Can't put it down here. That is so freaking fun! Oh my god, just. The proof of concept here is just stellar, man. It's just stellar. Holy crap, man. This is so cool. This is so, 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 so cool. All right. You're going to move. Yeah, you're going to be moving there. You're going to be there, but... Actually, no, the AoE wouldn't hit. Oh my god! Well, <laughs> I was not expecting to go all the way over there. Alright. But yeah, dra like, thinking about drafting out cards in this is so exciting. You're very far away, my friend. Come here. Where are you going now? Down? I kind of want you to take lightning damage, so maybe you will here. Uh. I don't know why I'm doing this. I just kind of, I just kind of want to, I guess. I should have put the other one there so they did the chain back and forth forever. Oh wow! Wait. I know this isn't a good idea, but it's my idea. Wait, it is a good idea because we don't take the damage. Oh my God. Everything works together in a way that is so generous, but logical at the same time. Like it all feels fair. It all makes sense. But then they give you a little extra. That's something that I heard. Um, like I heard Terry Kavanaugh talk about when he was talking about uh, developing Dicey Dungeons, how... You want, in a roguelike, you want all the interactions to make sense. But then when there's an interaction that comes up that's usually like a 50-50, you're like, oh, I guess I could see it going this way or that way. Those are the one, like those are the ones where you typically want to sway them in favor of the player. And the game has taken that to the extreme. Like, there is so many interactions. They all make sense. But then the ones where you're like, I'm not sure about the timing on this one. It goes in favor of the player, and that lets you play around with these moves in ways that are is very clever. And like, we have like six moves that we have here, and the fact that we're randomly getting a selection of five in our hand is not actually feeling limiting in a bad way. It's like the concept of it. It, it, it makes me think of how, you know, like a lot of people say. If, some, if someone just tells you, just like, tell me a joke, you know, or whatever, it's it's overwhelming. Too many choices. Paral choice paralysis, yada, yada, yada. Like, there's so much you can do. You could you could find a solved thing. You could have your type five, yada, yada. You would do the same thing every turn. But 
Since you have this limited set of five that's pulled randomly, it forces you to, to use them in a creative way in which the systems all are so fun to utilize and there's so many weird combinations for these things that I'm still figuring out now about like different orders and everything where the limitation breeds creativity in a sense of like uh, a potential, potentially limited comedy set, you know, for example having some ideas about things you can't go for or whatever makes it better like often because you have to you're forced to be more creative usually i and that feels like what's happening here in a way where i don't often i don't know it really sh it really is shining with this tactical turn-based system very 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 brightly like i I'm smitten. I'm smitten. It's like got all of the clever special player in player player forward interactions that you would find in like Into the Breach or something, which that game is very well known for being like a masterclass in. It has that mixed with so much flair. I love it. I love this game right now. I That being said, Thunder Smite is uh, OP. <laughs> and I wouldn't have it any other way. Oops, wait, I did a dumb. I did a dumb. I was busy talking. We probably won't be uh, going too much more. I'm not going to do a whole nother run or anything at this exact moment, though I honestly might just dink around with the game off camera because it's just that good. Hmm. Yeah, like, I can't believe that actually is in fa- that interaction is in favor of the player. That's so nice. You would think that that would explode on us. Where are you going? Are you going up? Okay. Where are you going? Oh! You dummy! Uh-oh, dummy. This is actually better for us. Why mess with the? Why mess with this when we can just um, get him here and then throw him into the wall twice in a row? But yeah, that that was a very into the breach kind of thing as well. How the enemies kind of smashed their faces into each other. But yeah, it, it's taking a lot of elements of tra like traditional roguelikes uh, and blending them in very very cleverly too this kind of yeah deck builder type system it's just wow wow i can't believe how polished and solid this game is in a demo form and it does not even have it doesn't even have like half of the game like or not even not even half of course it doesn't have half the game it doesn't even have like a 90 percent of the game but it doesn't even ha have half of the um half of the elements that are going to be in the game even represented i would imagine this is just great. Boop. Boop. That feels amazing to do. One left. I could teleport myself in some area. Eh. Actually, I do want to. I want to get ready to do a double double uh, teleport here can I can I I don't think I can it's out of my range it's okay there's a couple ways we could do we could do this either way here what's your plan here your plan is to switch with them uh if your plan is to switch with them let's just do that instead then okay <laughs> maybe we should move forward one oh we can't we can polymorph that oh my god this is so cool okay 
Uh, you know, for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. All righty. Ba 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 ba. We'll, we'll we'll end it out after this fight here, but rest assured, it's not because I uh, I don't think the game is incredible and want to play uh, about a thousand more hours of just the demo here. Smack it. Smack it, dummy. Yes. Yes. Unnecessary. But let's go for it. <laughs> All right. Yes. Okay. Anyway, we're going to we're going to call it there. I know I could, I could keep on going. I could keep going. I mean just my, I've been having blue screen issues with my computer. I don't want that to happen to this. I want to preserve my genuine first impressions of this game here. So, with that being said, we are done here. This has been Dungeon Drafters. Please, if you are interested in this game, go follow them on Twitter. Pay attention to what is going on with this game when it comes out on Steam or and when it is uh, listed on Steam. Go ahead and wishlist it. Let me just see. Is there a Steam page up for it yet? There is no Steam page up for it yet. Yeah, there's like I can't promise when the heck there's going to be anything more playable for for this game but i will tell you this demo is is so so clean so polished i play so many demos this is like this does the game incredible justice i cannot wait to interface with the systems more figure out like we don't know what the hell is going on over here at all like i could not tell you what the heck is going on with that this is like we haven't we didn't see any kind of like shop any kind of boss fight any kind of deck management any kind of any of that and i just I'm, I'm wowed. I'm absolutely wowed. Dungeon Drafters, uh, keep your eyes on this. I, I will play this again when I can. Uh, the next, the next time there's any kind of meaningful release of this game, I will be back. I, one of, this is one of my most anticipated games, like, flat out, right now. Came out of nowhere, blew me away. Dungeon Drafters, thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. I cover indie games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes. So, when I get this smitten about a roguelike, know that it means something. Because I, seriously, I play a different roguelike, a new roguelike, like, every single day. So when one comes out like this that, that blows me away, trust me when I say it means something. Thank you for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, let me know if you want to see more of this when it is out. It doesn't matter because I will play it. But let me know if you're excited for this game when it comes out in uh, any form. Maybe a long time from now, may not be a long time until we get another playable version. I'm not sure. But that's that. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.